All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 28. This one is on fractional parts of numbers and then functional notations. Okay, so basically, you're going to get something like this. It's going to say, find 3 fourths of what? I'm just going to use the number for number sign. 3 fourths of what number is 69? Do you remember how to write this mathematically? Yep. Okay, tell three me. 3 fourths times WN equals 69. Yes. Okay, he said 3 fourths times what number WN is equals 69. So, of in math equals times what number, we're just locating WN, is in math is equals, and then bring down the 69, 69 bring down the 3 fourths. Okay, now some people don't like this WN. If you just want to put a letter in, that's fine. What number? That's what that means. Okay. So now that you have it in this um, position, um, you just work it like any other problem. Um, so we're basically trying to get the n by itself, right? So, so this says, divided by three fourths. yes, so since this says times three fourths, we're going to move it across the equal side and it becomes divided by three fourths. Now, what way would you answer this problem? Do you know how Hello, you would want to work this problem? 69 over 1. Yeah, so I would take 69 over 1 or divided by... Three fourths. Divided by three fourths, and then when I change the division to multiplication, that becomes four, four over three. Very good. Okay, and I do think this will reduce or cancel out. So three will go into. I think this will be twenty three. You think? Yeah, that's 23 right. Twenty three times twenty three. Yep. So three times one and three times twenty three here, and you can't cross on the other. So then twenty three times four. I'm just gonna look. Ninety two. Ninety two. <laughs> Uh, 92 over 1, which is 92. So n equals 92. Very good. All right, let's do one more of these kind of problems. Make sure you're getting it completely. And then we'll move on. Actually, there's two more. And then we'll move on to the next one. So here's what it says. What, and these are key words that you need to remember. It says what fraction. Okay, why is that important that you notice what it's asking? The answer's going to be a fraction. The answer's going to be a fraction. So what fraction of... 40 is 24. I'm going to put an F for fraction so that I know I'm doing a fraction. Mm -hmm. Okay? If it helps you to go fraction like that, to remember that you're doing a fraction, I would do it, leave it like that. So I'm going to show it like that because it helps me. So now it says what fraction of, means times, 40 is 24. Okay? So mm -hmm. now... Since this times, um, we're trying to get the F by itself. So since this is times 40, I'm going to divide it by 40. I'm going to divide it by 40. Now, since we're making it into a fraction, I'm going to divide by 40 like this. And that already puts it into a fraction. You see how I did that? Yeah. Now, I've got it in the form I want it, but now I just have to reduce it. So when I reduce that, that becomes 3 fifths. Okay? Yep. So fraction F equals 3 fifths. Okay? That's how we would do it, and we know we need to leave it in fraction form because it asked us to leave it to what fraction. All right, last one. Two and a half of 240 is what number? And I'm just going to put it in, okay, for number. So two and a half of 240 is what number, okay? Now, the n is already by itself. Do you see that? Yeah. So now we just work the problem, okay? But what should I do here? Do you remember? Uh, you have to put the two and a half into an improper fraction. Yes, I would too. And I'd make this into an improper fraction. And then 240 over one. Yeah, so two times two is four. Four plus one is five. So this would become five halves times 240 over one. He did it exactly right. Now, because it's saying what number, um, if it is a fraction, we have to make it into a number. Okay, so let's go on and reduce, cancel out as much as we can. Two will go into both of those. Okay, and so then 120 times 5, 600. So n equals 600 over 1, which as a number is just 600. n equals 600. See that? Yep. All right, now let's do the second part of 28. And this one is on functional notation. Now, um, for example, you're used to working problems, you're going to have to watch this, okay? So you're, you're used to working problems that say this, y equals x plus 2. 
And then they tell us when x equals 5, what is the answer? Okay, if x is 5, then y is what? 7. seven. So then you would say x is 5, y is 7. If x was 3, what would y be? 5. 5. Okay, x is 3, y would be 5. Okay, you see what's happening every time? Yep. So, they're kind of wanting you to learn that same method. Okay, even if x was 0, what would y be? 2. 2. Okay, so as you can see, that's what's happening. Now, as we get into this book, they're going to learn to start saying the function of. So you're going to start seeing f of x, which means y. So don't freak out, okay? This means the same as this, okay? But we're going to do some problems so that it's not confusing to you, okay? Um, so they're going to say the f of x is da 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 so, for example, um, let me see some of these problems they've got right here. Okay, so let's do, let's do another problem before we get into the f of x. They've got another problem they want us to do. I don't know why they started talking about that and then they changed it. Okay, whatever. So, x, x squared minus 3x. Okay, and now they tell us if x equals 2. Now, do you remember how to do these? You put parentheses around all the x's. And then put the number right here. Put the number inside of that. Okay? And then we want to work within this first. Okay? If, you, if it helps you to write your PEMDAS over here, you can. Okay? There are um, parentheses or exponents. I see exponents, so 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? Minus, and then there's multiplication within this parentheses. 6. Okay, and then we've got two on the outside of that. See that? Now, we need to still work the parentheses. Four minus six is negative two, and then two, and so this will become negative four. See how we did that? Yeah. Okay, so x equals negative four, all right? But if you are working, for example, with these f of x's, okay, remember that sound, f of x, okay? That's how they're stating it. And then they say this, f of x equals x, and then they've got x squared minus 3x, and then it says this, find f of 2. Now, if you can see, f of 2 is f of x. Yeah. f of 2 is f, f of x. x, and so what is my x? 2. 2. See how we did that, f of 2? is my f of x. See that f of 2? So my x is a 2. So I'm going to go through here and ch actually let's put them in parentheses. No, so that we don't get confused. Okay, so my x's are all 2's. And so you're just answering for the f of x though. This is how they're wanting you to learn it now. You'll find out later, um, later on. So again, let's work what's in the parentheses first. Um, and we have 2 times 2 um, 2 squared is 4, minus 3 times 2 is 6, okay, and the 2 is on the outside, and then 4 minus 6 is negative 2, and then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So you would say f of x is negative 4, equals negative 4. See how we did that? Yeah. Okay, so um, let's do a few more using that method, this f of x thing, okay? Here's what it says. Now this one they switch, they didn't do an f of x, and they say evaluate x squared, 2x minus 1, and then they say if x is negative 2. Okay? So they keep changing back and forth. I guess they're wanting you to kind of get used to however they say it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take this x and make it negative 2, and this x and make it negative 2. Okay, so let's do our parentheses first. All right, and do we have a problem within this? Yes. Two times negative two is negative four. four minus one plus a negative. Negative five. Negative five, and then we bring this part down to square. Negative two. That's important that I still have that parentheses there. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so this is negative two times negative two. Four. Positive four. And then that's positive four times negative five. 
Hear that? Yeah. All right, and then last one, and you need to listen to this. Sometimes um, it's not going to be f of x. Sometimes it's going to be g of x. Doesn't matter what letter they say, you're basically finding the same thing you're doing already. Okay? So, for example, if, here's how it's exactly said, if g of x is x squared times 2x minus 1, then it says this, find g of negative 2. Well, g of negative 2, what does that tell us x is? Negative 2. So, where my x is, I'm just going to put a negative 2. Negative 2. Negative 2. All right. So, let's do this. Parentheses first. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus, well, that's a negative, plus a negative 1. So, it becomes negative 5. And then I bring this down, negative 2 squared in parentheses. 4. four. Negative 2 times negative 2 makes a positive 4. Four, positive 4 times negative 5 makes a negative 20. So g of x equals negative 20. Got it? Yep. See how we're doing that? And they're even putting going on and saying what your x is. So if g is negative, g of x is negative 2, then it equals this. So they're saying if the function is this, then it equals this. So go on and put your answer in this form. You're going in and showing them what your x is. Instead of answering for x, you're going to say it like this. If they have the function in front of it, g or f or whatever, then you're going to write it like this, okay? That is lesson 28.